All right, guys, we got this. Let's go. Good white trip speed. Control X, go. On one, on one. Ready? All right. What's up, guys? It's Pick'em with Huddle GG, and in today's video, we're going to be going over the second part of our Cover 3 Zone series, and in today's video, we're going to be talking about Cover 3 Match, okay? So Madden did change the terminology this year um, from Cover 3 Match to Cover 3 Seam, okay? So if you see the word Seam in a play, so Cover 3 Seam, Cover 3 Buzz Seam, that's indicating that it's going to be a matching type Cover 3 Zone for us. Okay, when you look at the play art of cover three seam, it's going to look very similar to a cover three sky. The only difference you're going to have is your purple zones or your pink zones are going to be a seam flat, whereas in a cover three sky, they're going to be a curl flat. Okay, now this is important because it tells us how our team is going to play depending on the opponent's formation and route combination. All right, so when you're going to want to run these cover three seam defenses or these cover three match defenses is when our opponent is in these two by two spread looks okay this one is going to work the best all right so when your opponent is in something like this where there's two receivers out wide to each side these cover three seam of these cover three match plays are going to work really well okay so what's going to happen is if we look at our defense here and we're going to go to the right side of the field here now the left side will play similar but i do want to talk about the right side here because this is the side that the running back's on in this situation this outside corner is going to man up on number 10 if he goes deep, okay? So if number 10 goes vertical, a post, a streak, deep comeback, something like that, he is going to match him and play man-to-man. -man. If that guy is going vertical, this guy is also going to match 87 if he goes vertical or if he goes out to the flat, okay? So if 87 goes vertical or if he goes out to the flat, then Sanders here is going to match him and man up on him. If that happens, this guy now will take the running back out of the backfield, okay? So this yellow zone on the running back side is going to read the slot defender or slot receiver. If this slot receiver goes vertical or to the outside, our hook curl is now going to match the running back out of the backfield, okay? So what you're going to see is, let's say they run something like this, where they have two verticals to the right and the running back out of the backfield. If we say hike, you're gonna see that they match appropriately and we can go into replay and show you exactly how they do it. And this played again, appropriately for what we wanted, right? So again, this outside guy is on the streak. So the corner is gonna take him. The inside guy is going to take the tight end if he goes vertical or out, he goes vertical. So this guy's gonna take him. And then that tells our hook curl that he has to get out to the flat and cover the running back, which he does. Okay, so this side all matched appropriately. Uh, one route combination that this is really good against actually are these flood concepts. Okay, so if they would run something like this, right, where they have streak, um, a corner or a deep out and then a flat route, this is going to work really well. Because if we're not in um, cover three seam, right, so let's say we are in a normal cover three sky, right, you're going to see that this can actually get open really well against that because this tight end gets into this area of the field. And if it's a good throw, it can be completed because we have the outside corner is going to run off or the outside receiver is gonna run off the outside corner, right? And then our underneath defender does not get deep enough to cover this corner out from the tight end. Obviously you can see the space here, the tight end has to work, right? The way we can stop that is by using these cover three seam type defenses, right? So if we still do that same exact route combination to the right, but this time we're in a cover three seam, you're gonna see how well this plays in, right? We can't throw this anymore because the slot defender follows that because he's going vertical or up, all right? So you can see how this can be a really good play against these types of um, route combinations, right? Here, this guy does run off the outside corner, but now we have our seam flat following this tight end on the corner route because of his matching rules, all right? Like I said, if number one does go um, vertical, that's what's gonna happen, right, with the seam flat. If number one would come underneath, it is going to convert the seam flat, right? So Dion there with the F icon over his head, typically he was following that tight end down the seam. If the outside receiver is not going vertical and he's coming underneath shallow, so on a drag, a short in, a lot of times the seam flat is going to convert to a curl flat and you're gonna see what that looks like here. All right, so as soon as he comes underneath, he's gonna drop that off. So we could possibly hit that guy 
uh, in the seam down the middle because it did cancel our matching rules because of what the outside receiver did. Okay, so again, you see the outside receiver, as soon as he comes underneath, 21 now says, all right, I'm no longer matching 87 vertical. The outside corner can take him. As he does, I'm now going to play my curl flat, right? So he's gonna play the curl area and then come down to the flat uh, to take care of the running back. Obviously, when something like this happens, it's also going to convert our hook curl uh, into, into just a normal yellow zone over the middle. He's no longer gonna match the running back going out to the flat, okay? Now, one thing I do want to make you aware of is when they're in certain formations, um, like a normal Y off close, you have to be aware of how this is going to affect your defense. Okay. So if you look here, you can see that the it is a two by two set, right? There's two receivers each side, but on the right side of the field, you do have two compressed receivers where on the left side, they are more spread out, right? You see how close to the line uh, Brandon Cooks is? you're gonna see that this is going to cancel match to the right side, right? But it's going to keep match to the left, right? So if we run this concept here, you would think that it'll play it the same to each side, but you're gonna see the right side is not going to play match because of the way that they are lined up pre-snap. Let me run that one more time just to show you um, without getting sacked here, just to show you what that is going to do, right? So if we, let's just contain our defense to make sure we have a little bit more time. You can see that we're not gonna get match to the right side of the field and he's gonna be able to get open on that corner route. If we watch the replay, the left side of the field is not going to be that way, okay? The left side of the field, this guy is going to match this guy on the corner because of the alignment of the offense, right? You can see there how well he plays that and he follows him all the way to the sideline. On the right side here, our guy converts just to a curl flat because of the alignment pre-snap, right? That compressed look to the right, all right? Another thing I do wanna go over here before we get out of this video is certain looks that can give you issues and how we can change those and how we can defend those a little uh, better from a defensive standpoint. So if your opponent is running something like this smash concept, right? So something with hitches to the outside and corners, um, to those slot receivers, you're gonna see that we could throw this slot or this outside hitch route over and over and over again. Okay. Reason being is there are certain routes that will um, stay underneath, kind of like this, obviously, which still allows the slot defender to follow the slot deep. And obviously, the outside corner is not matching uh, this outside receiver unless he goes deep. So we can just sit down here and we could take this throw against cover three seam every time. All right, same thing's gonna happen to the right side of the field. The way that I like to stop that when I am going against somebody who is aware of that is on defense, I will just man up my outside corners. So this is what the play art's gonna look like. Now, the reason that this is okay is because if 84 goes to the flat or goes vertical, our seam flat is gonna take him, right? So people would think, oh, you have no coverage to the outside now. We don't need it for the outside receivers. Obviously, they're in man coverage but the seam flats are gonna take care of our slot defenders, right? So if they run something like this, you're gonna see that we now can cover all of the uh, receivers on the field um, just because of us understanding what the matching rules are um, and how we can use these to our advantage, right? So on this play now, uh, we are able to shut down the hitch routes because we man them up, right, on each side. You can see the far side of the field there, that's matched or er, manned up as well, uh, but now these seam flats are going to still follow deep so we have good coverage and good leverage on these corner routes down the field to each side as well so again as you can see these cover three seam defenses really really do give you potential to stop certain route combinations now with any defense in the game you do want to be aware that they're not going to work against everything right they're not going to work against every formation they're not going to work against every route combination but if you do know when to use these you can get crucial stops and really frustrate your opponent throughout the game if you've made it to the end of this video, odds are you're serious about becoming a better Madden player and we're here to help. On our website at huddle.gg, $9.95 a month unlocks all of our full game plans created by some of the best Madden players in the world. You'll also have access to our private Discord where Madden pros will answer your questions and help take your game to the next level. Have a great day.